Good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith. Wherefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Well, we concern ourselves with many things this time of year when indeed we should be giving thanks for everything. We should do that more than just Thanksgiving week or day. But, but there are folks who... Uh, who probably struggle financially or or health or mentally, spiritually. And this time of year, um, when, when you think that things should be different because it's Thanksgiving and Christmas and holidays to celebrate with family, sometimes maybe... Um, Sometimes maybe your family, you, you may say, well, Brother George, it's all right. You have family. Um, and true, but families aren't perfect. And there are troubles and problems in families as well. And so maybe you are going through something today that just brings you down. My prayer is, is that you will understand no matter what your care, your worry, your concern is, just trust God. He sees you. He knows where you are. He knows your needs. Trust him. Trust him to, to take care of you as he takes care of the lilies of the field, as he takes care of the uh, birds of the air. He knows what the need is today. Consider the lilies they don't talk nor spin and there's not a king with more splendor than them consider the sparrow they don't plant nor sow but they're fed by the master who watches them grow? We have a heavenly Father above, with eyes full of mercy and a heart full of love. He Consider the lilies 
and then you will know. May I introduce you to this friend of mine who hangs out the stars and tells the sun when to shine and kisses morning with you, but he's not too busy to care about you. We have a heavenly Father above, with eyes And a heart full of love. He really cares when your head is bowed low. Consider the lilies and then you will know. Consider and then you will know. Lord, I thank you for the day you give us, Lord. And I pray that you would bless, Lord, help us today. For those that walk through this life at this point in their life today who maybe aren't going through a struggle or a trial or a trouble, God, we're thankful for them. I pray that you would bless them and encourage them. And God, I pray for those today who seemingly that's all they do is go through troubles and trials and problems. God, I pray for them as well, that you would bless them, encourage them, help them to see that you love them, you care for them, and you will take care of them. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Wednesday.